lose one of my units to Yari Ashigaru, that kind of sucks. My general increased in rank once again, which is very nice. Let's see if we can um, start taxing Tatomi without it revolting. Uh, okay, they won't be revolting at least. We'll go ahead and train uh, one unit of bowmen here. And repair that castle. Alright, we should be able to end this turn. We now have a little more income, of course, since I was able to uh, to lift the... Uh, the uh, or start, uh, I guess, having taxes, and then plus we captured the, the remaining Imagawa lands. So the Imagawa are now destroyed. So that was a pretty quick fight. We're no longer uh, anybody's vassal, which is nice. And the Saito are on our side, and they're fairly powerful, so that's handy. Let's see. Ally attacked. So the Saito were attacked by the Iko Iki, which is kind of like the strange monk clan. And let's see, Defender is the Saito. Uh, we'll enter war on the side of our allies because we don't want to break our alliance with them, even though I may not necessarily send help up to the Saito. We'll kind of let them fend for themselves because, again, I, I don't plan on being allied to them forever as they're no real great friends of mine. In fact, I'm going to leave just... Um, uh, let's see. I'll leave a couple of these Yari Ashigaru units here because I can always train more. And I'm just going to go ahead and straight march on this um, this Hocho town over here and just finish it off. Because we need it in our possession due to the uh, the money that will be brought in from it. Yeah, let's see you defend yourselves now, punks. Alright, so now we are in control of uh, the gold mine. And we have now also been noticed by the Shogun. And check it out, our income is now way up. So here we go, we got a surface gold mine. Let's go ahead and repair a castle. And if we can improve the gold mine, that's the first thing we want to spend money on. Because that's going to really um, start helping rack in the cash for us. We do want to defend this province a little bit. Um, so as soon as we get some money, I'm going to start um, increasing my garrisons a little and then improve my castles as well. Let's go ahead and end this turn. It does feel nice when you're playing as a Tokugawa to go ahead and get some campaigns under your, or some, sorry, campaigns, some, some uh, provinces under your control, because when you start off with just that one province in that kind of sticky situation, you can end up um, dying early on in the campaign just by accident. So uh, the Saito becoming my ally actually ended up being kind of helpful, even though I was pretty darn ticked off at them. Uh, it ended up working out all right. Okay, let's improve our garrisons in some of these castles and also recruit some, some new troops to help out with my army here. We can recruit another Metsuke. I think that would be handy. Uh, it seems like it's going to be money well spent. Let's go up here and just see if we can... see if we can wreak any more havoc. I'm not sure if I want to bribe that army quite yet or not. I want to save a little bit of money to do some work. I might just use my Metsukes for some scouting. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to go scout out um, the Kai province for the Takeda. Let's go ahead and build, or I'm just going to train up, you know, kind of a standard garrison. Some of these castles, it won't be too big because I don't want to spend, you know, boatloads of money, but something that I can at least damage up any attackers pretty good until this army right here can come to reinforce. We're definitely still in a building phase here where we want to be building our strength. Yep, there comes the Takeda. I figured they would be on their way. And they have a family member there, so there's no way I'm going to be bribing that army out. So we're going to just take my, um... We're going to take my daimyo and go have a showdown with the, that Takeda scum. Alrighty. In fact, we want to probably destroy the Takeda. We, we don't want to let them stay there. Let's see. This increases the happiness. Uh, I definitely want to do that, even though it's... Yeah, we definitely want to do that. Yay, it's harvest. Air is so nice. Gold. Hard work reflects in water. The harvest gathered. That's right. <laughs> Alright, so I don't really have a lot of infantry in this army, to be honest, but I have a crap load of archers. So whatever the um whatever the Takeda have brought, I can probably defeat it. Plus I could always just uh, have my infantry here meet up with me. So Let's go ahead and um, have this Matsuke oversee this settlement. So hopefully he'll help keep them in line. 
when I have to move my army out of here. And let's go ahead and take this army. Oh, I can uh, improve my general here. Definitely want to do that. Increase his movement range, plus one melee defense for the bodyguard. That's always helpful. All right. Let's move to this bridge. And we'll use this as a defensive point. And I'll take a couple of these units of Yari Ashigaru and pull them into this army. So now I'll have an excellent defensive position there. Uh, of course, I kind of want to really get in the way at least Takeda, I don't want them to just march around me and head straight to the settlement here, which is relatively undefended at the moment. We definitely don't want that to happen. Yeah, I can't bribe that settlement. Let's go do some more scouting here. Matsuke is pretty good at scouting. Here's some uh, Hojo troops back here, actually. Let's go see what kind of castle... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of Hojo troops back here. If I were to bribe this decent little army there and take this settlement that would really cause a huge mix-up behind the Hojo lines I might actually try that I wonder how much it would cost to bribe these scumbags quite a bit though I kind of think it was gonna be worth it I do need to save some money let's try it this will just be fun because I don't do a whole lot of bribing oh those guys I didn't have enough range to get to them Let's go ahead and see if we can jump on this Takeda army. I don't want them to march around me. So if I get right in their face right here, they shouldn't really be able to move around me very well in this turn. Oh, the Hojo are, like, massing their army there. Maybe I can bribe the whole dadgum thing, because I'll have a lot more money in the next turn. All right, let's see who's come to fight us. We have uh, Kosaka Takahide, which is one of their generals. He's coming with a pretty standard army, so I'll see you on the battle map. All right, here we are on the uh, setup screen. Let me just show you what you can do with those formations. Again, I'm going to push Control a select all my units, push the G key to group them, and then we can pick, um, we want an attacking formation, so you can actually just mouse over and it'll tell you it says heavy defense, reclining dragon, that's probably also, or it says this is a heavy attack formation. Let's switch to that and see what it's done. It's got all of our bow Ashigaru up front because we're attacking, and then it's got our infantry um, in a kind of a column formation in the back and our cavalry to support, so why not? That's not a bad formation. We'll give it a, we'll give it a try at least here. There's the, uh, the imposing force of Takeda back in the background. I guess they're not overly imposing. They're marching towards me. I kind of like having the battle settings on hard, actually. I may try putting it even harder later on, because you can change the, um, the battle difficulty settings at any time during the campaign. So here's the two armies closing on each other. Let's take a, just a fun, quick cinematic view. Look at the Takeda out here. So there they are, and then of course here is my noble Tokugawa troops marching forward. They are proud to fight for air, and proud to be a part of this campaign. I really do like the Tokugawa banners. I wonder if I can make mine look like that in multiplayer. I'm actually going to give my army a new movement order so that they can halt and get the first shots. Alright, whenever they start to get all screwed up like that, you can use this arrow key that I'm pushing right there with the mouse to get them all straightened out. And I do want to run them into position. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and put my archers into loose formation to begin the skirmish. And if the uh, enemy infantry charges me, I will simply uh, run my infantry forward. Yep, they're already charging, so I'm going to move my infantry forward. My bowmen are going to go ahead and shoot their infantry. I'll allow that for just a couple of seconds. I'm going to try and get my uh, Yari into position and then hit Spear Wall, so it'll give my men a better defense. Again, I'm going to move my General forward and uh, rally my men and then inspire one of my units. Okay, here we go, Spear Wall. And now I'm going to retask my archers uh, onto the enemy archers. That way I'm not shooting my own men in the back. Sit still, you can hit the enemy archers from where you're at. You too, you buttholes. Gosh dang it. Go out there and get yourselves killed. Let's see, rally my troops right here. Sometimes I accidentally hit the mount dismount key. I'm going to inspire this unit that the enemy general is attacking. That way it'll um, hopefully kill their general faster. Spear wall is a pretty good um, thing to do to help your men fight a little more defensively. Uh, and, you know, it'll kind of help give them a little bit of a bonus uh, when the enemy's charging at you. I think it's helpful at least. Yeah, you can see the Takeda army is, is now in a route. I'm going to take my men off of a defensive spear wall formation now and chase these archers down. 
get my general out here too. And I'm going to take my archers um, off of fire at will here in a second and halt them because I don't want them to hit my own men. The enemy archers are probably just going to rout as I approach. Our general there we go. Definitely, uh... A glorious there we go. I am going to run down some of these pathetic Takeda troops because I don't want them to come back to fight me in another battle. So I've got my uh, infantry out here running them down. In fact, I'm going to continue this for just a second. Put these Yari Samurai on their special run ability and see if we can run down some of these guys. Because there's a lot of Takeda troops left and we, we don't want them to be able to live to fight another day, or at least as many of them as possible. Oh, I forgot I have this light cavalry unit. What am I thinking? These guys are perfect for running them down. I don't usually have cavalry this early on in the game, so that's my bad. In fact, I had to train some more light cavalry. Definitely a helpful unit when you're on an early phase of the game. Good, I think my light cavalry is going to get up here. Anyway, I'm not going to record a whole lot more of this. I do want to show you my light cavalry. This is actually one of the things that light cavalry are best at, is disrupting bow lines and chasing down routing troops. Uh, that's actually some of their most effective use. So here they are, jacking those guys up. I'm going to send them straight on through to this other unit, because my infantry might catch these guys eventually. Yeah, so here's the light cavalry doing what they do best, which is just hunting down routing troops and mercilessly killing them, like that guy right there. Anyway, all right, I'll see you back out on the campaign map. All right, so there we dealt the, uh, the Takeda a massive defeat. Um, they only had uh, 347 men remaining. It kind of makes me mad that they got away with that many, but they did. But we didn't take all that many losses, so things are well. And we probably just want to go ahead and um, take Kai out of their possession. Uh, so that way they can't mount any more effective uh, defense against me. In fact, I, I probably just want to mostly neutralize the Hojo and the Takeda um, because they're going to be some of the major threats in this region. But of course, uh, eventually I might have to worry about the Date or the Uesegi. Uh, now, Uesegi were uh, historically um, pretty animos uh, had a lot of animosity towards the Takeda, so that was another interesting rivalry. Let's see how my city is doing back here. It's not overly happy, but it's doing all right. Let's see if we can bribe this big uh, Hojo army and just totally screw them. I need another army anyway, and rather than recruit one, maybe this should just be a quick way to get a hold of one back here. And then I can bring a general up if I need to. Actually, I don't have enough money to bribe that army. It says I could apprehend um, a Matsuke. Apparently, there's yeah, they have a Matsuke in their army. 51% chance. Let's try it. See what happens. Enemy tried and executed. <laughs> this Matsuke is awesome. <laughs> and plus, he keeps increasing in rank. Just keeps getting better. So let's see, counter espionage, counter spying, overseeing settlements, secret police, and plus one to cunning when overseeing armies, plus one to cunning when apprehending. That would be helpful. And what is this? Bribery. Ooh, I want to add some, some plus one when we're bribing. I'm having fun with this Matsuke. Hopefully you're enjoying that too. And now that I'm not going to end up spending my money uh, on bribing an army, let's go ahead and do a little bit of improvement. I might want to go ahead and just improve a couple of your... Well, let me check out my farmland. My farmland is good in all of my settlements. We just got roads and harbor. I'm not too interested in increasing my harbor right at the moment. Unless it has an effect on my... Because uh, I don't have any trade routes that I'm really using yet. Let's see. Let's build a market in this... Um, in this city, I already have a market here. I can improve my roads, pastures. What is it? Okay, this one adds income, so that would be helpful. I'm just going to try and get a few buildings in here that add some income. I don't really have a military stronghold yet. I'm not too overly concerned about it. I might just build um, some more infrastructure here at the, at the moment because my Ashigaru armies are working fine for the time being. Um, it's not going to stay that way forever, but. Uh, it'll work for now. Let's see if we can run down this Takeda army before they get away. There we go. Awesome. Alright, so that Takeda army is now um, out of our way. 
Let's see. I can go ahead and march towards Kai, so let's see if that's... Yeah, we can go ahead and take Kai in this turn. Awesome. So we just took the, uh, the Takeda home province. So take that. <laughs> that's what you get for being an enemy of the uh, future Shogun. So we're actually, uh, this is going pretty well so far. Now, I mean, you never know when we're going to get a bunch of pushback and things can get ugly. My general has increased in rank also, so that's awesome. My general and my Metsuke are both increasing in rank quickly, which is just going to make them useful early on in the game, which is always good. We can add a new retainer here, plus two to happiness where this man is at, plus one to command when defending on land. Yeah, that happiness thing might be handy. I'm going to go ahead and finish upgrading the warrior thing there. So my enemy, or my general has excellent melee defense now. So things are going pretty darn well for us. Let's go ahead and end one more turn and see where we're at. We just want to go ahead and improve some more of our buildings. The Hojo look like they're busy elsewhere. Enough brave men have um, died. The Takeda want a peace it treaty. It is time to discuss an end to the fighting. Um... Not sure whether I want to do this or not. I think I will, just so I can focus on the Hojo. And then we'll finish off the uh, the Takeda later. So at least that'll get the Takeda off my case, and it'll also give me a buffer between me and the Uesegi and some of the other clans around, so that maybe rather than trying to whip up on me, they'll just be whipping up on the, um, the Takeda. So I'm using a little bit of diplomatic thought in this process. Hopefully that turns out to work to my favor, like I'm, I'm thinking it may. Alright. Sorry, my cat's crawling all over me. Let me try and get situated here. Every now and then he decides that he needs to come and lay on me, and he's always pushing against the microphone. Alright, mission successful. So we, we've gained another Matsuke for having finished the, uh, that art. I now want to study some of the um, Bushido arts. Uh, as that will be helpful for me to get some military bonuses. We also have uh, another horse breeders. I think we had one of these back in our other province. Oh, we have access to light cavalry at Kai as well. So I think I'm going to recruit some light cavalry into my army. A couple more units of that would be very helpful. See, our gold mine's still improving. Maybe let's build a... Let's build a Yari drill yard. Don't have any of those yet. That's pretty much all the money I have on this turn. Let's go ahead and end another turn. Oh wow, the Hojo are amassing quite an army there, so... I don't know whether they're planning on using it against me, or if they're fighting the Date or some other clan. But I'm definitely going to leave a garrison in Kai, and then once those light cavalry are finished training, uh, I'm just going to march down here and then finish off the Hojo, because they can end up being 